What's up guys, Ben from Gravity Fit here, head of product and partnerships, to give you a behind the scenes look at the G Suit and how it's constructed. We'll walk you through the details, the tech specs, and the kind of the challenges we, we came across when we were building this thing. So the overall goal was to create a suit that you could wear underneath your training gear that would increase the feel of gravity on your body through axial load. And we come into some challenges when you're working with apparel when you're doing that. So let's look at how the suit's put together, where the technology lives, and I'll walk you through some of the issues we ran into and the solves that we got. So the mesh, this, this suit is made of two different fabrics. You have the mesh here, which is where all the resistance comes from. So this is called a power mesh fabric, which has an underlay of an open hole mesh to give you some breathability. This fabric does not stretch at all. It's paired with a polyester nylon blend, this solid fabric everywhere else. We sourced out of Italy. So the polyester nylon blend gives you super breathability with four-way stretch, but also gives you the strength that you need to not wear and tear. When you're putting this much pressure on a fabric and on the seams, you need a strong, lightweight, breathable fabric. Um, so working from head to toe, like I mentioned before, everywhere where there's mesh, it does not stretch. So that's giving you the resistance that you need. Your body is constantly fighting outwardly against that, um, that mesh fabric. It's giving you the resistance. So when you, give you, when you have fabric that doesn't stretch, you need to make sure it's strong at the seams. So down at the hand, this is, when, this is where some of the, um, the issues came into be because more of the pressure hits your joints. We use silicone bonded at the end of the armhole. That gives you a little bit of tackiness on your hand. It takes the pressure off of the thumb joint. And at the thumb joint, typically here you'd see a seam running down right here on the thumb joint, which would give you a ton of excess fabric underneath that's gonna rub on that joint. We bonded this, which gives you a flat edge underneath. It's going to be really smooth and really comfortable. Um, it's also going to be twice as strong when you bond those fabrics together. Um, moving down the legs, so you can kind of follow the mesh. It goes from the arm, up the shoulder, down the torso, all the way down the leg to the heel here. So we had the same issue with wearing and tearing on the heel. So we bonded two layers of fabric on this strap which is gonna make it a little bit stronger, but still smooth and comfortable. It's also gonna increase the strength on the inside where that seam comes. So you're not gonna get any ripping. Um, one of the other issues you get with a full layer suit is you're gonna get a little bit hot. We, we are tested this in Orlando, Florida. So we did some strategic laser perf ventilation here. Also get the branding hit on the back. Um, so for some breathability. And then moving down the leg, we added some on the inner calf, moving up the leg. So a little bit of aesthetic play there, but also you're gonna get that ventilation that you need so you don't overheat in hotter climates. So if you move around to the front, when you have a full body suit, the other issue we ran into is getting it on and off. You're gonna have some big athletes getting in and out of this suit. So you need to make it as easy as possible to get over the shoulders. So we did a full length zipper moving from the neck all the way down to the midsection here. It's gonna give you as much easy, it's gonna make it as easy as possible um, to get this suit on and off. Um, reverse coil nylon zipper moving all the way up to the neck with a nice self-lock zipper there so it doesn't flap when you're when you're working out in this bad boy. Um, looking at the hood, last detail, we did a three-piece hood here. That's going to let it sit and balance on your head. When you're putting that pressure on your neck, you're going to make sure it's balanced so it's getting the right type of load. A lot of times you'll see a uh, two-piece hood which have a seam right in the middle. It's going to um, give you a little bit of balance issues. So there's a look at the suit. How we built it, the issues we ran into, and the solves that we came up with. 